Hey guys, it's David Franco from GearPop.com, as well as GearPop.com slash forums. I'm very proud to say that we recently surpassed 500 members. That's pretty cool, and there are posts just about every day. I think that's a very good thing. So if you're looking for more tech conversations, discussions, all that good stuff, be sure to head on over to GearPop.com slash forums and sign up. Link is right below. Now why the heck am I talking about GearPop forums? Well, one, because I'm proud of them, and two, I saw a bunch of Windows 8 topics over there and it got me thinking, I haven't really created another video about Windows 8 in probably a couple weeks. Now for those not aware, I did recently get a free PC, which I'm very fortunate for, uh, that I installed Windows 8 on, which I did by myself. It was, I forget how much I got it for, it was like $49, $39? I'm not totally sure. But I do know this, Windows 8 now costs at least $119 for a new copy. That's kind of crazy in my opinion. I'm not sure why Microsoft is charging so much. I think they should really drop the price considering what I'm going to talk about in all today's video. All right, so let's jump right into the topic. What do I think of Windows 8? And honestly, most of you guys, well, not most of you, a good portion of you probably think I'm going to diss Windows 8 and that I hate it. No, that couldn't be more like further from the truth. I mean, I actually like Windows 8 very much. It's a breath of fresh air. I enjoy the user interface, I enjoy how things work for the most part. And guys, overall, I think it's a solid product. It's really not that bad. For techies like myself, I should say, for people who are willing to go out of their way and download plugins or applications, programs, extensions, whatever you want to call them, to better improve my Windows 8 experience. Because I have to be honest, I was really, really let down. And yes, I knew this going in, obviously. I was really let down by the fact that there is no real Windows 8 start button. Microsoft, what are you thinking? You need to put the Windows 8 start button slash start menu back where it was in Windows 7. I'm telling you, this one feature alone is going to turn so many people away. Now again, I do it to really put this into people's minds. For people like myself and geeks watching this video right now, this isn't a huge deal. The only thing we have to do is go to Google, type in Windows 8 start menu alternatives or whatever you want to call it and download any programs that appeal to your liking. I mean, that's what I did. I found two programs that I really like. Um, one of them I eventually deleted because I found another one thanks to someone on Twitter. I forget who it was, but I will put both of those product names right below. And yes, they are free. What this does is it basically just puts a Windows 7-esque uh, start menu back where it was in previous versions of Windows but in, well, Windows 8. And yes, what's really awesome about this is it gives you the option of using the Windows 8 start menu or the brand new Windows 8 start screen. Because guys, I gotta say, the Windows 8 start screen is really nice. I really did enjoy it very much. But you gotta keep in mind, I'm using it on a desktop, so the user experience wasn't intuitive, I guess you could say. And I would really enjoy to use it on a tablet such as the Surface or the Surface Pro. But for what it is and for what I'm using right now, it's really not that bad. I mean, it was really cool seeing Netflix in full screen um, form and my mail application, which does support Gmail, not just a Microsoft account, which is really nice. And it was really cool seeing like my weather widgets, my Facebook widgets on my home screen. I mean, that I did enjoy very much. However, going beyond that and into the desktop view for the first time, it killed me a little bit inside. I really, really missed seeing that Windows 8 start button. I understand Microsoft is taking a huge leap right here, and trust me, I give them full credit for taking chances. I fully, re fully recommend, that makes sense. I fully support any company that takes a huge risk like Microsoft is doing, but I honestly do think they had to step back a little bit, look at what they're doing, and make some changes. Now yes, Service Pack 1, I believe, is coming up soon, so perhaps I could implement a start uh, menu again, I'm not really counting on it, so don't hold your breath, but we can hope. But then again, I'm a very happy Mac user and I don't see myself switching back to Windows anytime soon. I'm not saying that in a fanboy way, it's the truth. I switched away from Windows for a reason. I was looking for a new uh, type of experience. And honestly, I think Apple's taking a smarter approach and slowly implementing iOS features into OS X, but it still looks like OS X in the process. In my opinion, that's the best way to go. However, guys, with that said, I really do enjoy Windows 8 for what it is, and I give Microsoft major props for trying something new. I mean, that's not easy. It's just, I really do hope they pull it off. All right, guys, to stay on topic with today's discussion on Microsoft, I know this isn't an Ask a Question video, but I do want to give away a free audiobook. Go to audibletrial.com slash thecreativeone and check this out. 
It's called Paul Allen Idea Man. It's all about the co-founder of Microsoft, how Windows was brought up to the where you know to the uh, point it is today, and all that good stuff. So, if, so if you like technology and, and you like free audiobooks, why not check it out? AudibleTrial.com/slash/TheCreativeOne. Click that link, copy and paste this title into the little search bar, and this book is yours to keep forever. And yes, I am rushing because my T4I is battery is flashing. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts on Windows 8 below. I'm always interested in getting a, a good discussion going, and I'll see you in my next video, which I promise to talk slower in. Maybe. Peace.